Hello, welcome to Clickshare.com. This video is second part of two part series on partial reload. If you have not seen the first part, then I would recommend you to go through the first part from the above link. In the first part of the video, we have covered what is partial reload, add prefix, exist function and the only qualifier. And in this part, let's cover uh, replace prefix is partial reload function and advanced scripting with partial reload. So when I say advanced scripting, I'll cover a practical scenario on how to use the partial reload to solve a specific problem. So before we go ahead and start, let's understand what is replace prefix. Like add prefix, we can use the replace prefix to load, select or map using statements in the script. Using the replace, load or select statements, we can drop the existing click view table and replace the new table. We can use both only qualifier and exist clause in conjunction with the replace prefix. So let's jump into click view and then let's look at a practical example on how to use the replace prefix with partial reload. So let me open the script editor and I have some sample script and I've already loaded this so that I can avoid typing. So I have two tables here. Let me show you some data before I go ahead and explain more about script. So let me quickly jump into Excel to show the raw data. So I have a table called employees, which contains three columns. So employee number, first name and the last name, and it contains 10 rows, pretty straightforward. And I have a table called new employees. So new employees table contains different field names, EMP key, which is same as employee key, and first name and last name, that is F name and L name. And we also have one more field called department. So let's say that we, we have a situation where we wanted to replace the old employees table with the new employees table. So we can use the replace prefix uh, with the partial reload to get this task done. So let me quickly jump into click view. And uh, let me first uncomment this piece of code. And let me go ahead and reload. Yes, we have three columns or three fields. And then let me add a list box with show frequency just to get the counts. And let me add a table box. Okay, so pretty straightforward. And now let's press Control E. Let's go back to script editor. Let's say that now we have to replace the employee table with the new employee table. So we can use the replace prefix and also use the only qualifier. So the advantage of uh, only qualifier is, let me just uncomment this and let me reload this again. So while I'm running a normal reload, uh, the script which contains the only qualifier will be disregarded and it will only be executed in the partial reload. So now let's go ahead and press Control shift r so if you see that our employee table is now replaced by the new employee table, which is pretty straightforward. And before we proceed further, uh, let me just quickly talk about ease partial reload function. And this is one of my favorite function. This function returns a Boolean value. If the current reload is partial reload, then it returns minus one, and uh, which means it's true. Otherwise it returns zero, which means it's false. So we can use ease partial reload function in conjunction with the conditional statements to control our script execution. So I'll show you what I mean in a couple of minutes. So let me go back to script editor again. So let me comment all of this. Let me finish this. And then let me save this. Let me quickly jump into main three, that is tab three. Let me uncomment everything. And so the first bit of code is straightforward. I'm again loading the data from employees table, which contains three columns or three fields with 10 rows. And I have a test table. Test table is just used for testing purposes. And we have uh, if is partial reload function equals to zero. So if this condition is true, your script is stopped. So what this means is script execution starts from top to bottom and left to right. 
So your script execution starts from here and it goes down. And then it comes here and it executes the test table bit of code. And then while your script execution is here, this piece of code evaluates whether this current reload process, is it partial reload or not? If it is not partial reload, then your script is stopped here. And you're using the exit script command. However, if it's a partial reload command, it will bypass this condition because it did not meet the condition. It will come here and it will end the conditional statement and then comes here. So here it looks at the concatenate keyword. It looks at the concatenate keyword and we are passing the employees table, which is the which is the existing table within ClickView. And I'm also using the only qualifier. This is just a precautionary measure. We don't have to use only qualifier in this scenario because we already have ease partial reload function controlling our script execution. So there is no way that your normal reload will come here to this line, uh, which is line 21. And let's say that this is partial reload. So your script execution comes here and then it checks if there is an existing employees table, which is true. And then it adds or it concatenates and adds the fields to the existing table. And we also have a new column. So ideally it should be adding the new column within the same employees table. This bit of code checks whether the current execution, uh, whether this, this bit of code checks whether the current reload process, is it partial reload or not? In this case, the function evaluates true, which is minus one and the script is stopped. And finally, I have a drop table uh, statement. I'll talk more about it. So let's go ahead and run this. So before we go ahead and run this, let me just comment out everything so that I can show you step-by-step -step process. And let me just reload this. So I have employees table, which is the original list. And now we wanted to concatenate and add the new set of employees from the new employees table. So let's go back to script editor. And let's go ahead and uncomment this. And if you are doing a regular reload, it should add the test table. And if you are doing a partial reload, it, it will not add the test table because we have not used the add prefix for the test table. So let's go ahead and press OK. Let's do a partial reload. So we have uh, some values which are added and let's see uh, the new field department, whether it's added to the employees table or not. So let me press control T, yes. And if you see, there is no test table here. And however, if I run a regular reload, that is control R and press control T. So now you see department is vanished and we have three columns again, and we also have the test table here. So let's jump back to script editor again. I'm sure you must be wondering why we have used this bit of code. Because anyway, if this is the last statement, your script execution stops. You don't have to say it's, you don't have to exit out of the script. However, if this is not the last statement and if you have further statements after this, you need this piece of, you need this bit of code. So this controls whether it's a partial reload and if it's partial reload, it stops here. If not, it still continues. So I'll remove the comments from here. And uh, let me just do a normal reload first. Commenting everything so that we have test table and the employees table. Press control R. So let me press control T. So we have three columns, 10 rows, and then we also have test table. So press OK. And then let me press control E, script editor. Now let's go ahead and uncomment everything. So what I'm trying to prove here is, now if I go ahead and do a partial reload, your test table will still be available because your partial reload stops here and it will not execute here. The reason being we are using the ease partial reload function to evaluate whether this is a partial reload. And after the evaluation, we are trying to exit out of the script.
So to prove that, uh, let me press OK and let's do partial reload by Control Shift R. So we have the new values added. That means that the partial reload is successful. And let me press Control P. We should have it as taken, which is true. And we have the department name here. So it might sound a little confusing, but I'm sure if you understand how it works, and especially using the ease partial reload uh, function, you can control your script execution. I hope you've learned something new with partial reloads. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.